What's up, bitches? I'm McStud. And I'm Mrs. McStud. And we like to party and play. Do 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 titties. Do 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 snatch. Do 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 booty. Do 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 malt liquor. That is a happy introduction. It was a happy introduction because I'm a happy motherfucker. You are. Always. Always. Yes, from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. Yes. What happened to Dr. you, Jizz? What? We fell off the condom. <laughs> we practice safe sex. By safe, I mean we don't hurt each other. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's a couple booty hole stitches. Ew. Mm. How was your Monday, Mr. McStud? It was a Monday, but it was decent, actually. Boy, did I have a Monday. Probably the one, one of the worst endings to a Monday I've had in a long time at work. That shit was nuts. <laughs> like, I didn't even know what to do. And I'm glad UPS didn't come at this normal time. They would have been waiting 40 minutes. Why, did you have to get that stuff out? No, we had so many air shipments. Did you have to get those out? Yeah, the people had to today? pack them. Yeah, they had to get out today. Well, it's fucking crazy. I didn't know what to do. Like, I thought about, like, tucking my cock and balls between my legs. You probably did a few times in yeah. mine. You know what? Because it gives me a tail. Mm -hmm. well, you know what my tail is when I do that? My testicles. Seriously? Yes. You ever have a testicle tail, guys? You know, you just do the mangina, you tuck and run. It's hard to run while you're tucking. Every time you did that, you've had the like, yeah, you gotta, funky thing. You gotta do like the pee pee dance on those, but you clench your legs so the shit don't <laughs> fling out. Uh, so I finally did the Perrier video last night. I expected it at least to have like a, a general water flavor, but it tastes like complete ass. It's like it, it literally tastes like the carbonation you get when the soda machine runs out at like restaurants. Thank God I didn't try. It was fucking nasty. I don't know who the fuck wanted to drink it. Even though it was warm, I can't imagine it tasted any better cold. Like, I I hate to say it's flavorless, but it it was flavorless, but it tastes like flavorless shit. Malt liquor. Ugh. And what do we never have any abundance of driving to and from work? Retards. Fuck sticks. Don't be a fuck stick. Be a happy, contributing member of society and help everyone get along uh, better. Help each other help you. Like, like, uh, oh, what was that Tom Cruise movie? Where was the sports You're asking me agent? About movie. It wasn't Billy Madison. That's funny. That was a Sandler movie. Oh, it had Cuba Gooding Jr. in it. He said, help me help you. Fuck that movie. Whatever it's called. Yeah, whatever the fuck it's called. You'll remember it after this. Jerry Maguire. <laughs> Jerry fucking Maguire. That's the name of a movie? Mm-hmm. Sounds like a name of a person. That's when, uh, you know the Bruce Springsteen song, Secret Garden? No. Oh, well you should. I think that was the, the big song of that movie. Kind of like a... I don't want to miss a thing was to Armageddon. Footloose was to Footloose. <laughs> <laughs> but there was really no dirty song to Dirty Dancing. I was waiting for, you know, uh, Get Low by Lil John and Eastside Boys. You know, Patrick Swayze in there. Frank. From the windows to the walls to the sweat drops down baby's balls. <laughs> Wouldn't like that? Mm -mm. Oh, that's, yeah, that was stupid. I spent, what, four nights trying to watch that movie? Worst four segments of movie I've ever watched in my life. Other than fucking Roadhouse. I watched it. I did. Like, there's a, a minimal Patrick Swayze successful movie ratio. Point Break was one of them. What was, oh, Point Blank. Point Break, it was him and Keanu Reeves. Point Break. And Gary Busey, yeah. I thought it was called Point Blank. There's a movie called Point Blank. Totally oh. different movie. Okay. It's kind of an action movie. I forget it was a... 
I saw on HBO back in the day. It was about a woman. I think she was a... Uh, shot a lot of people, I think. I can't remember. I remember she jumped through a fucking air duct. Well, there was an explosion going on. I, it's been a long time. Uh, what's another good Patrick Swayze movie? Ghost. I like Ghost. I'd rather watch that than fucking Roadhouse. Him wearing his little fucking Jackie Chan shoes. Beat people's ass at a fucking bar. <laughs> Patrick Swayze can't even beat his own dick, let alone someone else's ass. Oh, yeah. Is it that serious? It's that serious. It's that fucking deep. Deeper than... Deeper than the sands of Rosie O'Donnell's vagina. That's disgusting. It is pretty disgusting. Oh. Yeah, it's Monday. Monday's blue balls. I only do Monday's blue balls because, for one, you know, you've enjoyed your weekend, for those of you that don't work on the weekends. <coughs> Probably stayed up late, probably drank a lot, done some extracurricular activities, tired, you know? And then you end up staying late on Sunday night because you don't want the weekend to end. Not that, because you slept late. Because you stayed up late on Saturday, you slept late Sunday, then you're not tired. No, it's not that. Yeah, like most that's people for like me. To, most people like to stay up late on Sunday because they don't want that the weekend to end. Well, they want to get every second out of the weekend they can. That's not really me. And then they wake up Monday like, Ugh, fuck. Five more days till Friday. That's why everyone's fucking grumpy on Mondays. You gotta go to work. We're like, look, bitch. It's Monday. Suck my dick. Lick my balls. Do your job. Pretty much. Uh, so what do you have for lunch today, Miss McStead? Panera. Panera. So, I'm not a Panera fan. I think I've only eaten there once in my life. I have no idea what the menu entails. And she was cold today. She wasn't feeling so hot. She's still recovering. She texts me like, I want soup from Panera. I'm freezing. Anything to warm me up. I'm like, okay, get, go ahead and get you some soup. I don't care. And then I get this text. Do you want anything? I don't even know what the fuck Panera has. <laughs> and it's like 10 till fucking noon for lunch. I'm like... Just get your soup to get warmed up. I know. I was like, just get your soup. I have no idea what the fuck they have, and I probably wouldn't care for it. But she likes the soup, and that's all that matters. I had some leftover pizza burgers. You probably might like the soup. It's sharp broccoli. I probably would. Soup doesn't really do a lot to fill me up. I'm a big boy. That's true. I need some substance in my stomach. But you get that fucking rock hard baguette. I don't want to fuck a rock hard baguette. <laughs> French baguette. The thing is, I, I like French bread. It's just, it's almost like eating Captain Crunch on the roof of your mouth. Oh, see, I didn't mind in my soup to make it salt, so it doesn't scratch me. That makes sense. Yeah, like. But, I, I mean, when they pack it in your bag, mm -hmm. they just cut the bread. Like, it's not in anything. Oh, they sew it in the bag? They just put it in the bag. Oh, wow. Yeah, I. French bread's one of those breads, you know, it's like the crispy, you know, that smooth, crispy mm -hmm. coating, yeah. And it <laughs> reminds me of eating Captain Crunch, you know. When you're done, it looks like someone ran a weed whacker through your fucking mouth. I love me some Captain Crunch. That's my favorite cereal. I like the Crunch Berries. That's my favorite part. And now they sell whole boxes. All berries, yeah. They didn't have that shit when I was a kid. What the <laughs> fuck? You had to fucking, you had to eat the bad parts first. Yes. It's like the Lucky Charms. I always ate the fucking, the nasties first. And then you can see what save, color your milk was. Well, I just say the marshmallows for last. I'm like, I want spoonfuls of marshmallows. I don't like marshmallows. I don't, I don't like them. Well, they weren't like typical, the big muff. I don't like regular marshmallows. Like yeah, cereal, cereal the, marshmallows. Yeah. I like those. They have like, like a little bit of a crunch to them once you get them to play soggy. When you get Lucky Charms, I y'all like the, the little wheat. I didn't, I didn't like them in Lucky Charms. I liked them in that cereal. The Halloween cereal? No, uh, yeah, I did like him in that. I never got that when I was younger because it was too expensive. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was a rare Was occasion. it twi Tricks? Tricks didn't have marshmallows. Um, oh, it wasn't Lucky Charms. It had a kind of different marshmallow and it had, uh, oh, frick. What kind of cereal are we describing here, baby? Mm. We'll come back to that. Malt liquor. I'm going to think about that. I always liked Cookie Crisp as a kid. You know. I hate Cookie Crisp. I loved Cookie Crisp. But now I, they make those little mini chips of Hoy's. 
And I'm like, you can make a, why, why doesn't Chips Ahoy just come out with a box full of those little mini Chips Ahoy's? You can just pour it in a fucking bowl, and let them soak, and, you know, get the milk in them, and eat the shit out of them. They make mini fucking uh, Chewy Chips Ahoy now. I got a bag of those one day after work. I had them finished before you got out. <laughs> and I bought you snacks. I was like, I want a bag of the fucking, I haven't had mini Chips Ahoy in forever. I like the Grandma's cookies. Oh, God, the double chocolate chip thingy, or what, the double chocolate, that comes in a red package. Those are fucking stellar. The chocolate ones with like the chocolate Double chunks. chocolate chunk something chips, like something that, like that, yeah. yeah. Those are pretty fucking spectacular. I'm so picky about my cookies. My I favorite. I super hard but, and crunchy, but. My all-time favorite is Blondie's cookies. I don't know anyone has a Blondie's cookies around them. We have, when I lived in Muncie, we had one. And they're, like, real thick, heavy Cookies, expensive. the white chocolate macadamia nut. They're so thick that they charge you by the weight. Yeah, they charge you by the fucking weight. <clears throat> I didn't realize that, like, for a while. I, wow, I just thought they had a price on them. Like, oh, that's expensive. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's like my favorite all time cookie. Yeah, uh, you know what another good cookie is? Out for you, uh, old folks out there. Old school Hardee's before they started using real size fucking patties for their burgers. The old school thin mm -hmm. ass fucking paper thin burgers. They're big cookie. They always keep kept them warm. Come on a big sleeve. There's chocolate chip. I don't know if I ever had that. Those are fucking stellar. Well, I always got a Frisco. A Frisco. What's that called? No. Uh... Well, I'm talking about back in the days, Hardee's. Yes. Oh, they had a... It had a... No, it had a sourdough bun, and I can't think of what the sandwich is called. I'd still get it if I went there right now. Oh, you know, well, here's the thing. I was so picky as a kid. All I got was a hamburger. But those, that thing filled me up so much that I can have room for dessert. Yeah, I got the hamburger and fries. What's that? It's famous for that burger. What's that called? That's sourdough milk? No. Nah, fuck. That's what it essentially is, but... Hardee's? Yes! It has that sourdough bread. Yeah, I know. And I always on. wanted to go there for my birthday. Mom would say, you can go anywhere you want to go. I'd go, I want to go to Hardee's, and I want this sandwich. Because that was a treat, because we can always afford Hardee's. Right. Because it's expensive. <laughs> Hardee's was expensive back in the day? Yeah. I didn't know. I got a hamburger. Well, and you're feeding four people. Oh, yeah. You just fed you and your your mom fed you and her. Well, I just got a hamburger too. I didn't get like that <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it's fucking expensive. You probably got like a fifty nine cent hamburger and some seventy cent fries. My meal was like ten or twelve bucks. Jesus Christ! I mean, you go and feed four people with mm -hmm. that. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know they had things like that, actually. But they're they're uh, cinnamon raisin biscuits. Remember when I worked night shift? Those are amazing. night in Newcastle and I come home and wake you up. Mm -hmm. So I worked night shift for a little while. And I was like, you want some Hardy's breakfast? And <laughs> she's like, yeah. She wanted, I forget what the fuck you asked for. I always got like the monster fucking breakfast sandwich. You wanted something. And I was like, cinnamon basic, cinnamon raisin biscuits. Them. So I wake her up and we just like share some of the raisin biscuits and eat her breakfast before she went to work. That was good stuff right there. It was. That's one of the classics that Hardy's has always had. They've always had the cinnamon raisin biscuit, mm -hmm. as far as I know. I remember that as a kid. I'm like, God, I don't even like, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of raisins. But the cinnamon raisin biscuit is fucking stellar. Can't even really taste the raisins. No, you can't. It's like cinnamon. Yeah. That's good shit. And it's like hot. If it, if, it, if it cools down, you can put that shit in the microwave and it tastes just the same. We don't have a Hardy's on the way to work, do we? No. We have one on the opposite direction. Oof. So Miss McStead didn't know Carl's Jr. and Hardy's were... How was I supposed to know that? That was not on the news or nothing. I read the news. No, it's not the news. It's always been that way. It's named different <laughs> in, the, in the regions you're in. That's ridiculous. It's, basically, it's essentially the same restaurant. It's just named different. Carl's Jr. and Hardy's. And when you look at what the commercials come on, they always have the Carl's Jr. and the Hardy's <laughs> in the bottom. <laughs> I probably just thought that was the guy that owned the fucking commercials. Same restaurant, uh, different names. Ew. It really is. But you like the tacos from the the 
the Hardee's and the uh, Red Burrito. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. That's the only time I ever didn't get my sandwich from them was when I tried that red I'm burrito. I'm just saying, my Hardee's had the red burrito, has some stellar fucking taco, soft tacos. Mm -hmm. Like, they fill those bitches up. I think I got the five tacos one time. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> like, if I, if I compared the five taco combo from red burrito at Hardee's to the grande combo from Taco Bell... I could probably finish the grande combo from Taco Bell before I could finish the five taco combo from Hardee's. That's saying something. <laughs> yeah, because they're, they're fucking huge. Yeah. Taco Bell skimpy. Oh, shit. You finished all that and, like, what were you doing? Waiting on me? Shit. No. You're going to blame it on me. <clears throat> 16 minutes, not too shabby. Oh, we're doing good. Yep. That was amazing. Needed it. Yes, me too. Monday Malt Liquor. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying your uh, start of your week. I'm enjoying that. <laughs> rich people that, rich people have nothing better to do than, like, you oh, it's Monday. That day. No, rich people have nothing better to do than sit outside by their pool in their uh, Caribbean condo. I'm like, oh, yeah. It's Monday. Time for a margarita. <laughs> and you just woke up. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> Cheers, bitches. Happy Malt Liquor Monday. I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud. I'll tell you, fuck you later. Seriously?